SpaceX's Starship program is close to reaching a major milestone with Flight 7, and it might happen sooner than expected. Earlier, NASA documents had set the launch date for January 11, 2025, which was disappointing for those hoping to see a launch before the end of 2024. Historically, the gaps between Starship flights have ranged from several weeks to several months. These delays often happen not just because of technical preparations, but also due to the complex process of obtaining approvals from regulatory bodies, like the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, and the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC. After Flight 1 in April 2023, it took nearly five months before Flight 2 could launch due to extensive investigations and infrastructure upgrades. The FAA typically requires detailed safety reviews to ensure that any issues identified in one flight are addressed before the next. However, recent updates from the FCC and SpaceX's rapid progress on the hardware suggest that Flight 7 could launch as early as December 2024. Since Flight 7 will attempt similar objectives as Flight 6, the FAA's additional review requirements are minimal. On December 4, 2024, the FCC updated SpaceX's launch license for Flight 7. This means there is now a chance for Flight 7 to launch in December 2024. Usually, FCC updates don't get much attention compared to FAA approvals, but in this case, the FCC's decision is crucial. The FAA focuses on safety, making sure launches don't endanger people or the environment. The FCC, on the other hand, deals with communication. During a launch, SpaceX needs to send data back and forth, such as tracking the rocket's position and speed or controlling different parts of the flight. The FCC gives permission to use certain radio frequencies for these communications. Without FCC approval, SpaceX can't legally transmit this data, which means the launch can't happen. Sometimes the FCC delays or denies a launch if the frequencies SpaceX wants to use interfere with other important signals, like those for air traffic, military, or emergency services. For Flight 7, the FCC's recent decision is important because it extends the launch window from December 14, 2024 to June 14, 2025. Since the mission goals are similar to Flight 6, the FAA doesn't need to do another full review, which means the FCC's approval is the main thing allowing the launch to happen sooner. This is why the FCC update makes a December 2024 launch possible, as long as SpaceX's final hardware tests go well. SpaceX has made significant progress on the hardware for Flight 7, and the preparations are moving quickly. Booster 14, the latest Super Heavy booster, completed its cryogenic proof testing in early October at SpaceX's Massey test site in Texas. This type of test involves filling the booster with liquid nitrogen to simulate the extreme cold of liquid oxygen and methane fuel, ensuring the structure can handle the pressure and temperatures of a real launch. After successfully completing this test, Booster 14 returned to the launch site in Boca Chica, Texas. It is believed that SpaceX has since installed all 33 Raptor engines on the booster, which is a critical step before final testing. These engines, each capable of producing over 230 tons of thrust, are the powerhouses that will lift the massive rocket off the ground. Ship 33, the upper stage of the Starship system, has also made steady progress. It returned from Massey's test site more than a month ago, likely after completing its own cryogenic tests and engine installations. Ship 33 is expected to carry six Raptor engines, three designed for sea-level thrust and three optimized for the vacuum of space. Before it can be integrated with Booster 14, Ship 33 needs to undergo static fire testing. In this test, the engines are briefly ignited while the vehicle remains secured to the ground. This helps verify the performance of the engines and the vehicle's overall systems. For Flight 7, SpaceX plans to execute a controlled landing of the Starship upper stage in the ocean and attempt to catch the Super Heavy booster using the launch tower's mechanical arms, known as Mechazilla. If this booster catch is successful, it would mark a major step toward making the entire Starship system fully reusable.
The process of catching the Super Heavy booster involves guiding the massive first stage back to the launch site after separation, using its grid fins to control descent and slow down before attempting the catch. The Mechazilla arms on the launch tower are designed to clasp the booster just above its grid fins, eliminating the need for a traditional landing on legs. This innovative approach, if successful, would simplify ground operations and allow for quicker refurbishment and turnaround between flights. If Flight 7 achieves its goals, it will set the stage for more ambitious attempts in future flights. Depending on how well the booster catch goes, SpaceX may aim to catch both the booster and the Starship upper stage in Flight 8 or another upcoming mission. Successfully catching both stages would demonstrate the full reusability of the Starship system, a capability that SpaceX has long envisioned to make space travel more economical and sustainable. Reusability is key to SpaceX's plan to support high-frequency launches, deliver large payloads, and eventually send humans to Mars. SpaceX is already laying the groundwork for these future missions. Ship 34 and Booster 15 are nearing their final stages of preparation and testing. Ship 34 has completed its structural work and is expected to undergo static fire testing soon. Booster 15, which began construction in June 2024, has also reached the point where it is ready for testing. If everything stays on track, these two vehicles are likely to fly together in January 2025, keeping up the momentum that SpaceX is building with the Starship program. Looking back at previous Starship flights highlights just how far the program has come. The first integrated flight, Flight 1, took place in April 2023. This flight aimed to get the entire system off the ground and into flight but it ended with the vehicle losing control and being terminated. Flight 2 in September 2023 improved on this by successfully separating the Starship and booster stages, though the booster's landing attempt failed. By January 2024, during Flight 3, SpaceX managed to land the Starship upper stage in the ocean, marking a step forward in reusability testing. Flight 4 in June 2024 saw a soft ocean landing for the Super Heavy booster, while the Starship upper stage survived atmospheric re-entry. Flight 5 in October 2024 was particularly notable because it marked the first attempt to catch the booster using the Mechazilla arms. Although the catch was not fully executed, the attempt provided valuable data for refining the procedure. Flight 6 in November 2024 achieved a key milestone by successfully relighting a Raptor engine in space, a capability needed for future missions that require multiple engine burns, such as lunar landings. Both stages also completed soft ocean landings, indicating further progress toward reusability. While the Starship program continues to develop, SpaceX's Falcon 9 program remains a model of reusability. On November 26, 2024, SpaceX launched 24 Starlink satellites aboard a Falcon 9 rocket, marking the 400th successful Falcon 9 launch since its first mission in 2010. This milestone shows how far SpaceX has come in achieving regular and dependable launches. The mission also featured the 15th flight and landing of the same first-stage booster, underscoring the incredible progress SpaceX has made in reusability. The Falcon 9 program has allowed SpaceX to refine their approach to rocket reusability, lessons they are now applying to the much larger Starship system. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.